Thank you very much. I have a PowerPoint. I'd like to introduce an issue that has been uh, uh, touched by uh, some of you. Um, it's uh, quite an interesting issue as uh, it is also controversial in some uh, Western countries and Asian countries as well. That is uh, surrogate's motherhood. And um, I'd like to pose a, a question. What is there a relation and uh, what are the relations between uh, surrogacy and forms of uh, human trafficking or, or slavery. I think um, to start, we have to understand um, or try to understand what the essence of slavery and human trafficking is. I think that a good answer to this question would be that um, in slavery or human trafficking, People are not treated like uh, people, but more like objects, uh, deprived of uh, human dignity. And some signs could be uh, like, for example, a person that has a price or is an object of any transaction or suffers exploitation or is deprived unjustly of uh, fundamental freedom. And uh, you can have forms of uh, human trafficking, even, for example, if, we, uh, if, if the person agrees, sort of agrees, uh, even if the person is treated more or less well by the people who perform the transaction, and even if the person, there's no price involved in a transaction, because obviously you can't uh, donate a person. So people more like objects than, uh, than people. What is surrogacy? We'll try to uh, describe it. It's, the, it's a conventional contract between a commissioning couple or even a single person and a woman called surrogate mother by which the surrogate agrees to conceive and carry a baby and at the end of the pregnancy transfer the baby to the commissioning couple. Um, usually, it's not always the case, usually the surrogate's mother agrees to do this for some sort of compensation or uh, other advantage or consideration. The baby may or may not have a genetic bond with a surrogate mother. Usually there isn't a bond um, because the, the commissioning couple is looking for a different service in the uh, surrogate's mother. The surrogate's mother only has to carry the baby, the pregnancy, whilst the donor, the egg donor, may have some different qualities that the commissioning couple is, is looking for. So most often there is no genetic bond. Another woman gives the egg and the embryo is conceived in vitro and then uh, transplanted in the surrogate. If we look at the baby side, some, there are some problems that arise. Uh, whose baby? The problem of the origin. Uh, because we can have up to six adults that can claim or uh, want to claim, potentially, some sort of rights on the baby. The genetic mother, obviously the egg donor. The gestational mother, the surrogate. Uh, because she has uh, done the, the pregnancy. The commissioning a mother, then the fathers, we have the genetic father, the sperm the donor, the husband of the gestational mother, of the surrogate. That's because in, um, in many states, the, the father is uh, d based on a presumption of paternity. That is, the husband of uh, the woman that has the baby is considered to be the father. And then we have the commissioning father. Uh, obviously, in the case that the commissioning couple is not heterosexual but homosexual, you can also have um, no commissioning mother but uh, two commissioning fathers. If we apply 
the definition of uh, a contract to surrogacy, we can uh, uh, see some interesting things. Uh, I took this definition from the, uh, the French law, the French Civil co Code. A contract is an agreement by which one or several persons bind themselves towards one or several others to transfer, do or not to do something. If we ask ourselves, what is the object of the contract of surrogacy? What is the something transferred from one party to another? I think the, the answer is, is quite easy. Uh, the object, the thing that is transferred from one party to another is uh, a child. We must stress that sur surrogacy is not like adoption. There are many differences. In adoption, the child is already in a difficult situation because uh, he has uh, lost his parents for any, any reason. And the, uh, the law tries to resolve this difficult situation by uh, giving the child a family in the best interest of the child. Surrogacy is not there to resolve a difficult situation, but uh, creates, we can say, a difficult situation by uh, taking the child from the biological mother and um, transferring it to a commissioning couple to meet the desire of paternity, which can be uh, very genuine and important, of, of a couple or, or even a single person. We, could, uh, we can have an example here. If you go, obviously, this sort of contract you can find in, in internet. Here we have some uh, car sales. And here we have um, a website that, is, um, that does uh, surrogacy contracts. The question is, what are they selling? You have, in the last case, a baby at home package. Uh, $95,000. It's, it's quite similar to the, the car sale website. It seems like the object of the transaction is really uh, the baby. Obviously, this, this sort of uh, contract is, um, is widespread and is growing. Um, we can say it's big business worldwide. In India, for example, um, Approximately, it's more, uh, it's more than a two uh, billion dollar business. And if we compare the prices, you can go from an 80,000, even more in USA for the whole, for the whole procedure, 25,000 in India, 15,000 in uh, Ukraine. Obviously, the fact that there are um, such, such prices produces another risk that the commissioning couple can have high expectations on the, the child. So uh, the baby is often treated, at least at the beginning, at least at the beginning, as a product subject to quality control. Uh, the selection of the surrogates and the egg donors includes a process to guarantee the sort of quality of the eggs and the surrogate's womb. The selection of the baby, sometimes even on the websites, um, can be done according to various characteristics like uh, race, sex, or other. And e uh, sometimes we even have another possibility, that is that um, the surrogate is asked to consent to an abortion if the baby is found to have some uh, unwanted uh, characteristics like uh, disability or others. Then we have the big problem of the surrogate's mother and we have to ask ourselves if it is a sort of exploitation. The mother hires, we can say, her body in exchange for money, usually, or some kind of compensation. And we can say that maternity, maybe the most intimate relationship for a woman, is given a price and commercialized. The mother is normally obliged by contract to give away the baby. It's not always the case, like in England, I think. Um, and obviously, as we have seen before, there, uh, as there are many differences in, in prices, many commission couples turn to um, third world countries to do the whole procedure because it, it costs uh, less. 
Um, and in third world countries like India, Thailand and others, many women agree to do this, not because of an act of uh, real freedom, as someone uh, pointed uh, before, Mitsu as well, I think, uh, but mostly because they are in difficult, in difficult uh, financial situations. If we take a look at um, international law to, to conclude, um, we, can, uh, we can sort of have some, some answers. In the UN Convention of the Rights of the Child, we read, state parties shall take all appropriate national, bilateral, multilateral measures to prevent the abduction, the sale, or the traffic of children for any purpose or in any form. And the protocol uh, defines sale of children as any act or transaction whereby a child is transferred by any person or group of persons to another for remuneration or any other consideration. If we take this definition, I'd say that it fits quite well the process of surrogacy. Thank you very much.